Welcome American Truckers to Trucking with Old Snapper. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and uh, share this out with any other drivers that might, or future drivers that might be looking to get their CDL. Um, here on this channel, we do everything trucking related. I've been driving a little over 10 years, so I'm going to put this together for y'all, help y'all out. I'm not going to put my personal opinion in it. These are uh, questions that come from the test so i'm just going to give them to you straight as they are this is general knowledge if you are the type that learns from writing them grab a pen and piece of paper right quick pause the video and do your thing but if you're an audio or visual learner just kick back listen and watch and uh, we're going to go through these 50 questions now there's 50 on this test you have to score 80 percent so you can't miss more than 10 so let's go ahead and jump off into this the written CDL test can be in several different forms. However, all 50 states use the same CDL manual taken from federal regulations. All questions are based on, based on a centralized manual, so tests between states are often similar. Which of the following statements about an escape ramp is false? The answer is, it is of no use if you are traveling too fast. You don't want to be a distracted driver, so you avoid using your cell phone until you have reached your destination. In which of the following situations should you not sound your horn? To express your annoyance at someone. If you are found to be driving a commercial vehicle with your blood alcohol concentration above zero but below 0.04, you will be ordered out of service for 24 hours. If you drive 55 miles an hour, rather than 65 miles an hour, you can improve your fuel economy by as much as one mile per gallon. What are the two most common causes of tire fires? Underinflation and dual tires that touch. You should inspect wheel bearing seals for leaks. If you are going through an underpass at which the road has been repaved recently, the vertical clearance may be less than it used to be. After you start the engine, the oil pressure should rise to normal within seconds. To obtain a CDL, you must certify that you are not insulin dependent, not addicted to drugs, not addicted to alcohol, all of the above. If you must drive off a roadway onto a shoulder to avoid a head-on collision with another vehicle, what should you do? Stay on the shoulder until you have stopped, keep one set of tires on the pavement, avoid braking, do all of the above. The minimum tread depth for front tires or steer tires is 430 seconds. Why should you be especially alert for drivers who are tourists? Because they may not be familiar with the area. If you are confronted by an aggressive driver, what should you do? Ignore rude gestures and refuse to react neg negatively. Avoid eye contact and call the police. All of the above. Why should you use a helper when backing? Because every truck has blind spots. What is a particular risk associated with transporting hanging meat? It may change the vehicle's handling characteristics. Which of these is not a part of the basic method of shifting up, accelerating while pressing the clutch and turning toward the driver's side? During your pre-trip inspection, you should do which of the following inside the cab. Secure all loose items, check that you have all your required papers, and turn off unnecessary lights, all of the above. How can you determine if your vehicle is equipped with an anti-lock braking system, ABS? Check for a yellow ABS malfunction lamp on the instrument panel. Check if your vehicle was manufactured after 1998. Look for wheel speed sensor wires that are coming from the rear of your brakes. All of the above. How many reflective warning triangles should you carry with you for emergencies? Three. If you are stopped by the police and refuse to submit to a chemical test for drugs or alcohol, you will lose your CDL for at least one year. Streaks of rust on a lug nut are signs that it is loose. If you are pulling a trailer and a fire breaks out inside it, what should you do? Pull off the road, get out of the vehicle, and keep the trailer doors closed. If an accident victim is bleeding heavily and no qualified professional is available, what can you do to help? Apply direct pressure to the wound. How can you start moving without rolling backward? Set the parking brake whenever necessary. Engage the clutch before removing your foot from the brake. Apply the trailer brake hand valve, all of the above. How many different states' commercial driver's licenses, CDLs, can you hold simultaneously? One, only one. 
To avoid overloading bridges, a bridge floor formula restricts the axle weight for axles that are close together. If you have been convicted of any of the above, you will lose your CDL for at least one year for a first offense. Driving a CMV under the influence, leaving the scene of an accident, or refusing to go undergo testing. If you are convicted of knowingly using a CMV to transport illegal drugs, you will be disqualified for life for the first offense. If your driving privileges to operate your personal vehicle are suspended or revoked for reasons other than alcohol, controlled substance, or the commission of a felony, you will lose your CDL for the same length of time. For a second violation of an out-of-service order in 10 years, you will lose your CDL for at least one year. Perception distance is the distance that your vehicle travels from when your eyes see a hazard to when your brain recognizes the hazard. What are some advantages of going to the right instead of the left around an obstacle? Someone may be passing on the left. You can avoid a head-on collision, both of the above. While driving at highway speeds, you should look ahead at least a quarter mile. To prevent a load from shifting, there should be at least one tie-down for every 10 feet of cargo. It is illegal to drive a CMV if your blood alcohol concentration is above a .04. What is the minimum tread depth for tires other than steer axle tires? 230 seconds. What is black ice? A thin layer of ice clear enough that you can see the road underneath it. Which of these is especially true about your tires in hot weather? You should check tire mounting and air pressure before driving. Cargo that is not loaded or secured properly can cause which of the following problems? Loose cargo can injure the driver or passenger during a quick stop or crash, other road users can get hit by loose cargo. Both of the above are correct. What are important reasons for performing a vehicle inspection? A vehicle defect that is found during inspection can be corrected and prevented for problems later. Federal and state regulations require you to inspect your vehicle. Both of the above are correct. Loads that are over length, over width, or over height may require flashing lights driving limited to certain times. Both are correct. Which of the following statements about backing are true? Backing is always dangerous. You should back and turn towards the driver's side whenever possible. Both are correct. Which of the following materials can be used in an ABC fire extinguisher to put out all three classes of fires? Dry chemical agent is the answer. Which of these statements about downshifting for a long downhill grade is true? Downshifting allows engine compression and friction to help with the brakes slow the vehicle. Which of these statements is true about medicines used to treat a common cold? They often make you sleepy, therefore they should not be used while driving. Where should you keep your shipping papers? In a pouch on the driver's door. What should you do in thick fog? Pull off the road into a rest area or a truck stop. Heavy vehicles sometimes travel more slowly than the other traffic. Which of these is not a good rule to follow when you are driving such a vehicle? Signal other drivers when it is safe for them to pass you. Every time you park your vehicle and shut off the engine, you should apply the parking brake. Thank you for stopping by and going over the general knowledge test for your CDL. Hopefully you find some help from it. Write them down, listen to them, memorize them. You'll have no problem passing the this portion of the of the test. I'll be working on videos for the others as well as all endorsements. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate all of you.